I'm in here! Can anyone hear me? Yes, I'm Dr. Rosenberg. Although I'm not very proud to admit it, seen as though I'm partially responsible for all of this. How did you know my name? Oh, I see. Poor Harold. Yes, our plan was to get to one of the old prototype labs. It involved something that very few people in the facility are authorized to know about. The same technology that brought about this catastrophe could also be our only way out. You see, I was involved in the very early work on teleporter technology, long before the Lambda Complex was even built. There may be enough equipment in the old lab to piece together a device that would allow us to teleport outside of the facility. As improbable as that may sound to someone like yourself. Of course, none of that does a whole lot of good while we're stuck in here. Hmm, perhaps I could help boost you through that vent in the ceiling. If you're lucky, you might be able to take those soldiers by surprise. Let's try this! Alright, now we'll need to head back to the area where you met Harold. The access to the old lab should still be there, but we may have to break through some of the newer construction to get to it. I'll be right behind you. Yes, let's go. Lead the way, Calhoun. All right, you won't even know I'm here. there. All right, let's stick together. Yes, here it is. We'll need to break through this to get to the elevator.
We should have chosen the Lambda Reactor for an escape, but the crew there is bent on fighting the creatures, with all their hopes set on someone named Freeman. Let those fools try and fight a battle they can't win. I just want to get out of here. Yes, we'll have a better chance if we stick together. Well, I hope the old security system is still active. With any luck, my fingerprint ID is still valid and on file. Dr. Rosenberg, thank God you made it. We've managed to piece together some of the larger equipment, but you'll need to oversee the rest of the construction. Excellent, Walter. Finish aligning the power cell matrix, and I'll see if I can get the system online in the main room. Now there's no time to waste. Looks like the equipment is in better shape than I expected. Unfortunately, this older technology does not have the ability to target an Earth destination in its current state. You see, Mr. Calhoun, teleportation isn't as easy as going from point A to point B. We've discovered a strange border world that was somehow involved in the process, which kept us from accurately predicting where any given teleportation event would lead to back on Earth. Some of the more promising research on the matter led to a device that could be attached to the strange crystalline structures we found on this border world. Now this device could then be used as a focal point and a relay to aid in the teleportation. Well, in theory that is. We lost contact with the survey group shortly after the device was in place. We later discovered other methods of aiming the field, but all of the equipment in this lab uses the older technology. In order for any of us to get out of here alive, someone will have to go to the border world and activate the device. I'm afraid you're the only one who can do this, seeing as how everyone else will be needed to operate the equipment. We should be able to get you fairly close to where the survey team had set up, but I fear the likelihood of running into alien creatures is very high. Once you find the device, simply power it on and align the emitters until the signal reaches maximum strength. We'll reopen the teleporter for your return once we receive the signal, but you must hurry back, as we can only keep it open for a short amount of time. All right, I'm going to initiate the teleporter charging sequence now. Be ready, Mr. Calhoun. Once the field is open, it will become unstable very quickly. Simmons, can you hear me? It's ready. Capacitors have reached full charge. Simmons, release the damping locks and open the field. 